Yo, drop a like in the next 5.6 seconds, or else you'll get pickaxed by Omega in your next game of Fortnite. And if you do leave a like and subscribe in the next 5.7 seconds, you'll get AirPods for your birthday. to another video guys it is your boy 12 llama did i seriously just mess up my intro well who cares but today i will give you my best tips and tricks to get for to get better at fortnite mobile i can't speak i actually can't speak but yes this will be my best tips and trick tricks to get better at fortnite mobile so the first tip to get better at Fortnite Mobile is customize your HUD. You know, if you're just playing with the old default HUD, which looks like this. No, don't do don't play with this HUD. This HUD is absolutely bad. No. Customize your HUD. Like this is my HUD right here. My shooting and editing button, I have, I have my shooting and edit, editing button, I have my reset edit button, I have my ping marker, I have my jump up here, because I play six finger claw. Oh yeah, and my second tip and trick is play claw. If you want to be advanced, play with five fingers or more. I play six fingers on an iPhone XR, if you guys didn't know. And... As my second tip and trick. So my third tip and trick to get better at Fortnite Mobile is play solo squads. If you don't know what solo squads is, is you go into the squad game mode. If it's in fill, put it on don't fill because then you won't get teammates and you'll be going against other squads. The reason for this is it will teach you how to play competitive. It will teach you how to take out like a whole squad in competitive modes and stuff or it it would just help you get better in general oops it would teach you how to basically survive in situations that you would not normally know how to survive in basically you'll be able to, it would just teach you to survive in a school against squads of four and it would just get you better in general is this my fourth tip and trick? I think so. Warm up before you play. Like go to creative and practice your building and editing, play some edit courses. And like my favorite edit course is a seven in one edit course. Cause it has an aim course and it has a, and I, use, and I do every single edit course when I warm up one through seven. I do seven first cause that's the aiming course. And then I do one through six. Then after you're done with your aiming and editing, go onto a map, do some free builds, practice 90s and everything. Because if you don't warm up and you're, and you're about to play competitive, you're not going to play good at all. And it would just be hard in general to play if you're not warmed up. So this is the island I used to play. I used to warm up. What I do is I just put a ramp and whatever. And whenever I'm done, like when I get to reach max height, I edit it backwards, make everything break so I'm not using up all the memory. And then I would just start free building. Now, I'm not going to be my best because I'm actually at, the, at an angle I really don't like. I'm about to change my angle angle right now. So if you don't warm up, you're not going to be ready for your next battle, your next match. Now, my fifth tip and trick to get better at Fortnite Mobile is separate your builds out like how I have it. I have my wall and stair on one side and my floor and pyramid on the other side. And the reason for this is it will help you get faster 90s. 
it will help you build faster and you just you'll be able to do like every everything faster especially if you play six fingers this is actually a good six finger hood because i'm using my my pointer fingers to press the build my uh, middle finger to place the build my left middle finger to place the build and then my right middle finger to jump and it just helps me Is that it for the tips and tricks on how to get better? I think so. Oh yeah. So and here's some building tips and tricks. When you're doing your 90s. I know most of you know this this 90. Or 180. Don't do this. It just gives your player another chance to, to it, it just gives your player an, an extra please to knock you down. Like a, a less, oh hi. You sweep the garage? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that was my stepdad. But uh, when you do your 90s, you want to come up, go around, place a floor, then a stair. Because that will be harder for your opponent to knock you down. Now when you're building, you don't just want to do this. Because, say the player below you has a scar. They'll just do this. And knock you down. And you'll die to fall damage. So you practice your 90s with the floor at the bottom. And this is what you want to do. You want to place a stair, floor, wall. Stair, floor, wall. Stair, floor, wall. And that's ramp rushing. Because if you learn ramp rushing, it's hard for them to knock you down. Yeah, they just have to break two. But, but it will take them longer But if you do a floor, hold on, let me just edit this piece back. But if you do a floor ramp wall, and then you do a 90 with the floor, and do like a triple 90, do it again, do a triple 90. If you keep doing that, that will help you not get knocked down as easily. So to start off your 1v1s, you actually, so say I have a one, there's a 1v1 set up right here. I don't want to use that. Okay, you have yourself a pump shotgun and a bolt. Okay, so a good way to start off a 1v1 when you're editing the wall. So your friend edits the wall, you guys cross. Okay, I'm misclicked. I'm still getting used to doing that edit. You grab your stair out. Stair, ramp wall. Okay, I trapped myself in my 90s. But you do a triple 90. Then you do a floor ramp wall again. Triple 90. And, the, and if they're higher than you... Come around with your walls, do a pyramid, come back around, and then you'll have a stair above you, and then you could do your floor ramp wall. That's something you should practice too. I miss clicking so much. So if you get my point, Learn how to build. That's the only way you're going to get better at Fortnite Mobile. That's the only way you're going to be able to compete in Fortnite Mobile is if you build. So that is it for my tips and tricks. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you get my point, you should be able to get better at Fortnite Mobile. 
So I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace out.